How are you not entertained? This is what you came for, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to be watching the Aaron M. Holt Stand Up Comedy Show. Can you believe it? This is the scene, ladies and gentlemen. I know what you're thinking. Wow, is this L.A. Comedy Club? Because it's purple AF. It's purple AF. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Sold out show. Aaron killed it. It's time to back up your words and put your money where your mouth is. Melton, I mean, let's see what you spiraled out about today, Aaron. One tweet made you lose it on Twitter. One tweet hijacked the first 40 minutes of your show. And what was the panic about, Aaron M. Holt? What was the panic about? Let's see. Ladies and gentlemen, Aaron M. Holt on stage, 14 minutes of gold by the master. Are you ready? And don't adjust your sets. It is sold the fuck out. It is dope. We've got drop ceiling. We've got, uh, so clearly they moved billiard tables. These are, these are lights that go over pool tables. So they've moved pool tables. We've got a couple PV handheld speakers. We've got TVs that are off. Again, just the cheapest billiard table lights. Too lazy to cut the chain to the right length. We'll just loop it. We'll just loop it. Nobody will notice. Put it in the drop ceiling. These uh, beautiful sconced lights and the wainscoting on the wall is just, mwah. this is just great. Oh, wow. Somebody else in the chat said wainscoting. Holy shit. I thought we were doing our own thing over here. Uncle Patty, when the untrained floor Newports made a break for our pod storage container, we call a home they snatched him, turned me upside down. They then did something they called ate a vat of pudding. I feel dirty. Come sit on Daddy Great Fanta's multiple chins, little stabby seat. Jesus. I will make your Chantilly cake feel all better. Hold on. Just let me catch my breath first. Uncle Patty, when the untrained floor Newports made a break for our pod storage container, we call a home they snatched him, turned me upside down. They then did something they called ate a vat of pudding. I feel dirty. Come sit on Daddy Great Fanta's multiple chins, little stabby seat. I will make your Chantilly cake feel all better. Okay. Hold on. Just let me catch my breath first. Daddy Grape Fanta's multiple chins is fucking disgusting. Um, okay, here we go. Without further delay, except for these delays. Uh, Steve C, she looks like, hold on. She looks like one of the middle levels in the evolution chart. Oh yeah. The little, that little creature, Lila or Leela. Let's go. Brandon. I don't like the look. I don't like the look of it. I don't like the look of it. That's true. Uh, Ricky Bev. I know the stage troll. I know that stage troll for my sleep paralysis. Okay. Okay. I think I'm in the way, so I, I'm I'm gonna uh, remove myself for the most part. I'll pop up when it's relevant. I don't want to stand in front of Aaron's jeans, Aaron's Aaron's faded acid wash jeans from the '90s. This is gonna be dope. This is gonna be dope. So again, most of these people are Nick Ricada's fans, as you're gonna be able to tell by the reaction when Aaron talks. And before we hit play, I want to remind you, Aaron said he killed it in this tape in front of a stand-up crowd. He played one of the worst videos of me doing stand-up ever, going like, wow, Melton really doesn't have it. Okay. Okay. This is a video of Aaron saying, I do have it. I killed. Let's watch. I 
I just want to tag how fucking good that eating beaver ass joke was. That's I just want to tag how good that eating beaver ass joke was. So I think Johnny Crunchman came up and did a joke about eating beavers' asses. Hilarious. And movie comes up and he's like, I want to ride the high off that joke. Can I just draw attention to how good that eating beaver ass joke is? It's like, I guess. First time I've said that in comedy. <laughs> so now you'll hear, you'll hear April by the camera laughing a lot. You'll hear the crowd not laughing much at all. Um. I want him to set it up again. I want you to all hear it again. And I want you to hear the reaction from the crowd when he kills. Good that eating beaver ass joke was. That's the first time I've said that in comedy. <laughs> Killing. Killing. I want to tag how good that eating beaver ass joke was. Repeats it. Classic. He fucked it up at every single delivery point and still killed. Congratulations to Johnny. Okay, so don't equate that with being applause being for Aaron. That was for Johnny. And again, I'm sorry that April's by the camera going, <laughs> for every joke he's, he tells. I'm sorry. Fucking... Fucking Bill Hicks over there thought he was a wordsmith, so after four beers, he wanted to put the names Jedediah and Cletus together and thought his mouth would make it work. Killing. He said the names Jedediah and Cletus the way he uses stairs. <laughs> Fucking Buddy Love and the Nutty Bird. Look at this crowd. Fish lunch. We got a fish lunch. <laughs> no, it's a compliment. The joke worked. I was jealous. I've never heard that kind of laughter before. I was like, oh, that's what we're supposed to be doing. I, so uh, at the top of his set, he acknowledges he's not doing well. But Aaron, you said you kill. You said, I've never heard that kind of laughter before. Oh, that's what we're supposed to be doing, giving laughs. So that is a dig at yourself, and I don't know why you would say that when you're crushing it. Guys. Oh, fuck. Another dead one. We've got such a great rest of the show coming up. That such a great rest of the show. But first, the goal. Was the shittiest guy. No, oh, no. <laughs> Johnny, no. <laughs> okay, again, I'm so sorry that April has... No idea how it works. There's a camera set up by you. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Shut the fuck up. Why couldn't you be 40 minutes late to this? Why couldn't you treat this like work and not show up? <laughs> oh, no, Johnny. Oh, that's wrong. She's one of those bitches, the hole in the crowd. Every joke, oh, that's fucked up. Oh, that's wrong. Oh, no. It's like, that doesn't get old quick. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Guys, he's killing. Do you need a bullet for your mouth? I mean, say whatever you want. No one's ever yelled that at me on stage. We're one minute in and someone yelled, do you need a bullet for your mouth? <laughs> Killing. Listen, God. <laughs> so he said, listen, cunt. Listen, cunt. So that's where we are. We're one minute in. No, no, no. That was his biggest laugh. That was his biggest laugh. He called a woman a cunt. No, no, no. No, no they, no, guys, that is not okay. Lord knows they never listen. 
Lord knows. This is really Midwestern wackadoo bullshit. Lord knows. Oh, you thought I meant the cunt part. This is the Nick Ricada skinhead show. We can say whatever we want. It's totally fine. Okay, so he says this is the Nick Ricada skinhead show. From I guess, from what I've heard, Nick Ricada is a little racy too. It, again, I, I don't know what it is. It's Minnesota, I guess. Like, honestly, it doesn't even matter if you're lawyer level educated. These guys, there's something in their brains. They're stuck in mid '90s to mid 2010s radio, and they cannot let it go. They can't get over falling down laughing when the ketchup makes a fart. You know what I mean? They, to them, that is like the pinnacle of comedy. The N-word, ketchup farts, yellow snow joke. You know what I mean? Like just basic, basic bullshit. So he goes, it's the Nick Ricada skinhead show. We're all we're all racist here, right? Come on. And then a guy out of nowhere yells, mm, the N-word. That is the kind of environment we're in where people are comfortable yelling out the N-word, both on and off stage, for a laugh. For a, It was a joke. I yelled the N-word, idiot. I didn't mean it. Right, right. I don't even know how to record. Patrick, let me show you about this eating beaver ass thing. Um, not it. Okay, but I have the bubble guts. Keep your little honky ass peen away from my hole. I'll take one for the team. Check out my new forearm penis while you're down there. It was a gift from my dad. Ugh. Ugh. So again, he's going to call it the skinhead show and say we can say whatever we want, and then you're going to hear a crowd member yell out the N-word. And then everybody laughs because, again, that is comedy. That is comedy to these people. Aaron is Aaron is two minutes in, over two minutes in, and has not told a joke. Two minutes in stand-up is, again, people wait down at, at Wise Guys in Vegas every Tuesday and Wednesday night, put their name in a bucket and wait for three hours to maybe do three minutes. So... Two minutes has gone by. He hasn't told a joke yet. But we're about to get a big laugh from the N-word. Oh, you thought I meant the cunt part. This is the Nick Ricada skinhead show. We can say whatever we want. It's totally fine. See? We can say whatever we want. It's totally fine. Whoa! And you hear April. Whoa! Again, Hey, April, could you go anywhere else but right by the microphone recording the show, you stupid bitch? <laughs> no, he was just testing to see if anybody said what so we could throw them out. <laughs> so Aaron's response to that, somebody yelling out the N-word, is, no, we wanted to see if anyone yelled, mm, what? Because if they did, we'd throw them out. If you're too much into black culture, we'll throw you out of here. That was the joke, in case you missed it. I told you to say it with an A so we could bait them easier. <laughs> I told you you say it with an A so we could bait them easier. This is a crutch. You know, Johnny Crutches may be the disabled one physically, but Aaron cannot get in front of a group without just turning into mom's Mabley basher. I, I I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's the, it's laziness and it's insecurity. He, he, he must have nothing to offer. And then his dumb, emotional panic brain just goes, Oh, somebody yelled inward and it got to laugh. So I'm, I'll just, that seems safe. This crowd likes inward jokes. I'll just start doing racist stuff. So three minutes, all we have is cunt and the N-word. No jokes. And Aaron says this is a, he killed in front of a live sold out audience. Aaron says he killed. 
Okay. That's, uh, no, Nick told that guy to say that. He said, uh, I just want to make sure Eric July is not here. Um. Again, this crowd didn't get it because no one is here for Aaron. This isn't an Aaron crowd. And, like, like I don't watch Aaron's show. I have no idea who Eric July is. So no one laughed at that. They were all like, we don't get the joke. <laughs> wow. I mean, to sit in that for that long, to not have any sort of a saver line and just to sit in that bomb for that long. And, and by the way, again, wag your finger at me the whole time telling me you killed it. Here we go. With an A so we could bait them easier. That's, uh, no, Nick told that guy to say that. He said, uh, I just want to make sure Eric July is not here. Um. <laughs> that's a bomb. Uh, that's a bomb. I'm not getting involved. <laughs> it looks like it. I'm not. It so again, now he's bent over yelling at a guy in his face. I'm not getting involved. We don't know what this is about at all. We have no idea what he's screaming about, but this is a killer set. <laughs> that I'm an artist. I'm an artist. <laughs> hey, April's dying. Any of you know anything about Nick here? Nick, I said Nick here. Nick here. <laughs> <laughs> Sounded like I was saying Nick. Hmm, but I said Nick here. Ha <laughs> ha. So again, back, right back to the N word. He has nothing else. He has nothing else. Tell a joke. Tell a joke. We'll wait. We'll wait, pro. I mean, there's no stand-up in the world that could go three minutes without telling a joke. I'd hate to see what one of your bad sets looked like, like you sack of shit. This is your killer set? Okay. Say bastard three times. Nick here, Nick here, YG song. Uh, See, so again, just playing on the N-word. Uh, <laughs> does anybody, round of applause if you know about uh, Mr. Ricada's involvement with the Eric July comic book deal. Yeah, right, right. yeah. Okay, so now they know Eric July. This is even funnier. So now they're all clapping because they are aware of this Eric July guy. I'm not. But he told that Eric July joke a minute ago. They got nothing. And he just sat in it. So they do know who it is, and they do get the reference, and still it didn't land. I thought it didn't land because they didn't know who he was. No, it didn't land because it wasn't a good joke, apparently. I mean, okay. Um, uh, if, if you don't know about it, I'll give you the cliff notes. Um, a black guy wrote a comic book, and a bunch of conservative white guys thought it was dog shit, and now everybody's fighting. And if you think, wow, that sounds gay, <laughs> you don't... Now we're gay. Blacks and gays, everybody. This is as deep as the well goes. I, I wish there were more. I wish there were any kind of creativity, personal anecdotes material that he crafted and delivered there isn't homosexuality trans jokes jew jokes black jokes the n-word these are his weapons of choice these are the arrows he has in the quiver and they're not even sharpened they're he just haphazardly letting them slip. They don't land. No one knows what he's talking about. It's disjointed. It feels desperate because out of nowhere, he just keeps trying to grab back at the N-word. Like, no, remember the N-word. That was funny. You like that stuff. Don't go on the internet very often. <laughs> That is like a spark in a California brush fire. <laughs> <laughs> no one else is laughing. No one else is laughing. A black guy wrote a comment. I don't think it's very good. 
Come on, boys! And then it's just a scene from Braveheart. It's just a bunch of people hacking each other's dicks off. And you're like, what the, the fuck? It's just going it's okay, great. they all have autism. It's... Killing. I was watching, uh, I was watching Nick's interview with Eric. And Nick, I, I will give Nick this credit. He was trying to make this gentleman look as good as possible. And this gentleman was hell-bent on looking like the world's biggest bag of shit. Well? <laughs> you can tell who knows about it because this person just goes, well? Great crowd work. Handling the hecker, hecklers like a pro, showing Melton how it's done. Limp-wristed and all. But Nick was trying to give him, like, legal advice. I, you, don't, you don't need to be up on the drama to know this part. Um, if someone puts a sticker on your property, sir, are you allowed to gangland style murder them with a gun? Yeah, thanks, sir. Apparently so, right? Apparently, yes. Nick there's. I, I just want to for the co for the comedy fans, for the comedy Paris, because this is all enjoyable. It's dog shit, and we're all laughing at that. He thinks this is a great set. Just for the comedy purists, let's break down that joke. Sir, can I ask you real quick? If I put a sticker on your property, are you allowed to gangland style murder me? <laughs> I think not, right, everybody? Was that a was that the joke? I don't, I, I mean this, because I, 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 I didn't watch this ahead of time. I'm starting to think, we, we are five minutes and 40 seconds into this video. The first minute is not him, so four minutes and 40 seconds. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say something really bold here. We get, this video is 15 minutes long of, of Aaron. He may get through this set without telling one joke. The guy who is schooling stand-up comedians who's never done it himself, really. And, and who says that this is an exemplar set of, of what to do, how to do comedy. He killed it. In front of a sold out crowd. He may not tell one joke this whole show. I, I, I'm hoping I'm wrong. I hope we get to hear some of his material. But it's not looking great. Um, Will he tell a joke? Will he tell something he wrote? He's fighting. And if you think, wow, that sounds gay, <laughs> you don't go on the internet very often. <laughs> <laughs> that is like a spark in a California brush fire. <laughs> a black guy wrote a comment. I don't think it's very good. How about it, boys? And then it's just a scene from Braveheart. It's just a bunch of people hacking each other's dicks off. And you're like, what the, the fuck happened? It's a scene from Braveheart. Everybody's hacking each other's dicks off. Do you have a director's cut I don't have? I don't remember the scene in Braveheart where everyone's going around cutting off everyone's dicks. Okay. It's okay. They all have autism. It's... <laughs> all right, here's that joke. Just break it down. Is it okay to do this? I don't think so. That's the whole joke. I was watching. Uh, I was watching Nick's interview with Eric, and Nick. I, I will give Nick this credit. He was trying to make this gentleman look as good as possible, and this gentleman was hell bent on looking like the world's biggest bag of shit. Well, Nick, you can tell who knows about it because this person just goes. Well, <laughs> so none of these are jokes. None of this is material. It's all just fluff. Any real comic would cut all this stuff. But Nick was trying to give him like legal advice. I, you don't, you don't need.
need to be up on the drama to know this part. Um, if someone puts a sticker on your property, sir, are you allowed to gangland style murder them with a gun? Yeah, Apparently so, right? Apparently, yes. Nick, if you... That's the joke. That was the joke. Apparently so. I want to know how the whole, like, one-hour thing went. Nick was trying to tell this gentleman, if somebody puts a sticker on your storage shed... You already said this. You can't blow their head off with a gun. <laughs> that's, what the, that's what the lawyer said. The really smart black comic book writer responded with, In Texas, I can fill them full of holes. <laughs> I would really like to see like a Judge Judy break down that clunk out. Okay, here we go. Here's a bit. <laughs> I hate to warn everybody. We've got a bit. We've got a bit. I'd hate to see Judge Judy handle in this case. I think it might go a little something. Like, okay, here we go. I feel a bit. Fuck yeah. I've been waiting for it. Wait, counterpoint. It's been like, that's uh, criminal mischief. That's criminal mischief. I so that heckler threw him off. He was about to deliver the punchline. I swear to God, it was such, it, it looked like Nick's interview. He okay, he abandoned the whole Judge Duty impression he was about to do. He was about to do a whole Judge Duty impression, and he got thrown by that heckler and didn't do it. I don't want to go back that far. <laughs> I would really like to see, like, a Judge Judy break down that count point counterpoint. Okay, watch him. He's about to go into it. He's like, it would be like, and then a guy heckles him, and then he repeats the heckle and then moves on. It's been like, that's criminal mischief. That's criminal mischief. I swear to God, it was such. It, it looked like Nick's interview. He had Eric July looking like. See, so you already abandoned the bit. Look, you know, movie. If you can't handle hecklers, then get out of this business. I don't know what you're doing. It's such a minstrel show that by the end of it, I thought Eric was gonna go and do what it do what it be what it be. Okay. So now a Bonix and calling it a minstrel show. And he would know because he puts on a minstrel show all the time with his little Negro puppet. It do what it do and it be what it be. This is the material, folks. Don't adjust your ears. <laughs> it is what it is. I thought at the end Eric July was going to start going, Well, the sun shines bright in my old Kentucky home. <laughs> April thinks it's a hoot. That's all the rumble. <laughs> so, so far the crowd is is getting way bigger laughs than Aaron. That that should be a rumble. Get it? Because it's racist. You got to do that on Rumble. <laughs> oh, you're funnier than me, but I'm not mad about it. You're helping. You're helping. Okay, so the master is getting his ass handed to him. The master is being shown up by hecklers. He just yelled at me about this. Like, you can't handle the hecklers? You can't handle the hecklers? Keanu is watching but not commenting. Smart. Smart. Keep it to your fucking self, Keanu. You and Gino just lay there on a lazy Tuesday morning in New York City in your overpriced apartment. Just lay there and hope that bullets don't whiz by ya. Because jokes sure are. <laughs> Tell Dick I'm not getting involved. You never get involved. I never would be involved. In fact, I... What's crazy is he's like... Oh, you're going to play this set of me killing in front of a sold-out crowd? It's like, no, I don't have that tape. I just have this one. <laughs> oh, wow, Melton's threatening to play the awesome set of me crushing it in front of fans? No, there's no media of that available, but we do have this tape of your last event. 
Oh, you think? Oh, okay, sorry. I didn't... Dick all the time. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I know, but you still get get a nice refreshment afterwards. <laughs> Are you starting to see why he freaked the fuck out and threw away the first hour of his show today? He don't want this. He'll be hitting up Nick Ricada later. Can we sue? What can we do? How can we get that down? Can we copyright strike it? I'm announcing right now, copyright strike it, and I will immediately appeal. Uh, I, I'm willing to go to court for this. Uh, so just heads up. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's test fair use. <laughs> I think this is important. I think I add commentary. I think this is transformative. First of all, I'm showing a very small portion of the video. Second of all, this guy wants a job back on terrestrial radio in Minnesota. I think it's important we show the people of Minnesota what's at his core. And I don't mean the overt racism and the tried and true record he has of just constantly making the most racist, misogynist bits on his show. I just mean the lack of talent. I, th I think it's important for everyone to see this and go like, oh, he really doesn't have anything to add to anything. P people in the cr random drunks are showing him up. <laughs> <laughs> Again, these big laughs are all coming from stuff the crowd says, not from Aaron. So when does the killing start? Oh, you see, I'm drinking jizz. You guys are thinking something gross. I was... <laughs> So now it's gay stuff because he's drinking jizz. And April's laughing. It's a fucking hoot. The black stuff, the gay stuff, this is great. If he can just land it with a trifecta of trans, this this might go, this might be in the comedy hall of fame. No. There was cum in my face. <laughs> totally fine. I hope you guys came here with dates tonight. Yeah, the reason you're not growing is because the internet, Aaron. It's not you. This is a live crowd. They're not into it. They're all looking at you like, what is he talking? How much cum is on his face? What's going on? It's a romantic show. <laughs> <laughs> when you hear her laughing at all his basic non-jokes, it, it makes you realize how basic of a bitch she is. She really is a basic... Sunny D mom slash college kid. Like she's got, she's dumber than most like 23 year old college women. He says like, I, oh, oh, I was imagining I'd come all over my face and she's over there going. <laughs> it's like, are you a dumb, dumb, dumb bitch? <laughs> I mean, she she giggles at the lamest shit. Sorry about, uh, about Nick. I met him. Uh... Also, he puts his whole hand in his pocket. This is the number one sign of of an insecure guy. Shoving your whole hand as an adult into a pocket. Just letting that. Because he can't hug himself and self-soothe like he does on the show. So he's got a lot of, like, shifting his weight from leg to leg. A lot of hand in the pocket, rubbing the leg. Person to person for the first time tonight, and uh, he's an extremely gentle hand job. <laughs> <laughs> More gay jokes, and April is dying. I met Nick tonight for the first time, and he's an extremely gentle hand job. <laughs> Keanu, Gino. Is this where you want to shoot for? Is this the company you want to keep? You you can do better, right? Like, fuck. <laughs> you know, I'm gay. <laughs> Comes in my face. <laughs> I mean, what are we doing, guys? And by the way, this is a this is a video he would put up against others' videos. He's like, "Yeah, I killed it." That that's why this is laughable. 
He's done it before. It was really nice. And he whispered. Not organic, they're soft. <laughs> he whispered. <laughs> they're talking about being gay. To me, and he said, it's okay. It doesn't make you gay. We're just friends. <laughs> so that's nice. But, um. Oh, God. Is this part of the killing, Aaron? Aaron, is this part of the killing? Real quick, is this part of the killing? I'm confused. <laughs> he whispered to me and he said, it's okay, it doesn't make you gay. We're just friends. <laughs> so that's nice. This is going great. But, um, fuck me, I can't remember the rest. Who gives a shit? We fuck me, I can't remember the rest. What part of this set is a good set, baby girl? What part of this set is the killing part? You're seven minutes in, and I want to give up the ghost here. You don't stop until 15. So you're not even halfway done with the time you're going to do on stage. And you're already saying you're going to tap out. You've done black jokes, inward jokes, gay jokes, come on your face jokes. They've all not worked. Nothing has worked. We're at seven minutes. We're at seven minutes and you go, I can't remember the rest. We can't remember one joke. Does anyone remember a joke? I, Aaron, I need you to really focus. You're shit. You're delusional. You're shit. Your idea of the, I mean, put up any, get the worst videos of me you can find and put them up against this. I dare you. The thing about me is I'll tell you how good a video of me is. The thing about you is you never don't do a good show. You always do a great show. We've had a fun show. We did a great show. Today's show was great. We've got a terrific show. This show was great. That show was great. I killed it. I killed it. We were sold out. I crushed. I destroyed. I killed it. What the fuck are you watching? What fucking room were you in? This is so cringe and embarrassing. It's a fully lit room where they shove the pool tables in the back and you're on stage hemming and hawing, doing this with your mic cable because you're nervous, hands in the pocket, pacing back and forth, bending over, talking to one guy about God knows what because the crowd sure doesn't, pacing back and forth, getting big laughs off things the crowd says while meandering down lanes that go nowhere. How would Judge Duty do it if it, what, got heckled? Abandon that bit. Time to move on. When does it get killer? When does it get great? Because <laughs> I'm seven minutes in, haven't heard one bit yet, and you just said, I forget the rest, but what if we just fucking quit? And then guess what? You're going to do eight more minutes of dog shit. Seven minutes in, you're ready to quit. And then you do longer than that of filler dog shit. And I wish part of it wasn't you chanting the N word. That's coming. That's coming. You bring him up. Yeah. 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 I'm coming. I'm coming. That one more time, I want to hear you announce that you... I can't remember the rest. Who gives a shit? I forgot the rest. I can't remember it. Who gives a shit? You already bought tickets. We already canceled the headliner. I forgot the rest of my jokes. Who gives a shit? We already got your money. Ba bing bong bang That's Aaron M. Holt in the nutshell. Fuck you. You already entered the contest. Who cares how we do the drawing? It ain't right. Ba bing bong bang Hey, everybody, we already got your money. Cancel the headliner, and I forgot all my material. Fuck y'all, though. Let's bring up your headliner, who's not a headliner. It's his first time ever doing comedy. Y'all ready? Drink up. <laughs> I forgot the rest. Who gives a shit? That is his attitude. We got your money. Who cares? Buy a sticker. Buy a hat. Buy a hoodie. Get a VIP membership. Hey, how are you making sure the drawings are fair? Shh. Hey, Aaron, we paid for a steel toe show. I forgot the rest. Who gives a shit? Shh. 
Hey, Aaron, we came here to see Chrissy Mayer. She canceled. We got a guy who's never done comedy and me. And I forgot to all my jokes. Shh. That was a killer night. Killer night. <laughs> I'm laughing at everybody who's talking about me. Like, ah, oh, Melton's going to throw an event. I'd hate to see that. It's like, what world are you all in where you think I can't outdo this? What planet are we on where you don't think I can beat this? We're going to throw an event. We're going to throw an event. Aaron M. Holt has a full invite to Onion Con. Hotel, flight, and payment to perform a set. The offer is on the table and good until the end of time. It's open. All you have to do if you want to come is contact me and we'll get it arranged. That's all you have to do. I'm making it easy. Patrick at Nobody Likes Onions. Email me. We'll set it up professionally. You'll really get a hotel. You'll really get a flight. You are welcome to come to Onion Con and perform. No distractions. Show us how you kill, baby girl. Get over here and show us how that killing works. That's nice. But, um, fuck me, I can't remember the rest. Who gives a shit? Should we just bring him up? Fuck me, I can't remember the rest. Who gives a shit? <laughs> okay. Is this part of the killing? I'm confused. Is this part of the killing? What is this casual, lean look he's trying to pull off? I need to tell you something. The best part about being MC is you get what I call the fuck it card. Like, if you've got a set amount of time you have to do as a comedian and you start bombing, you're fucked. If you're me, I can just pass the responsibility on to the next guy. This seems to be you on stage. I don't want to speak too soon. This seems to be you on stage acknowledging that you're bombing. And letting the crowd know that you can now walk away with no responsibility because you don't have to do a set number of time, amount of time. This seems to be a mid-set admission that it's not going well. But that confuses me. And I know I'm slow, so help me out. I don't understand. You said both on Twitter and on your show that you killed it in front of a sold-out crowd. You said it repeatedly. Those are the words you used. I killed it. I killed it. I crushed it. I killed. You're going to watch a tape of me killing it and doing very well? No, no, no. We don't have that tape. We just have this one. Uh, th I want. This is Aaron's own fucking words. Telling you that it's not going well, but fuck it, he gets to leave because he's the host. I just want this on the record. During the set, Aaron thinks the set is bombing. His words. See, is you get what I call the fuck it card. Like, if you've got a set amount of time you have to do as a comedian and you start bombing, you're fucked. If you're me, I can just pass the responsibility on to the next guy. So he just said, basically, I'm bombing. I'm going to bail on this and pass it on to the next guy. Who is your headline? And it doesn't even matter. It's your event. The host, when it's your event, like you are responsible for the whole event. And your headliner you're about to put up has never been on stage doing stand up. So it's already fucked. You're already putting up, you know. Luckily, they're all there to see him anyway, so it doesn't matter. I mean, like, here, I made him not laugh. Your turn, asshole. So again, he's, this is all cope, live on stage cope. Here, I made them, I made everyone not laugh. Your turn. This doesn't sound like a confident guy who thinks he's killing right now. It sounds like a guy who, just like he explicitly said, I forgot the rest. I'm going to bail. I can do that when I'm bombing. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of nice. No, Nick, um, when I talk to Nick, dude, he's fucking, I'll tell you, this, this is your first time doing stand-up, right? Nick's fucking. So Nick's in the crowd three feet in front of Aaron, which is also weird to like stand up the second row in the crowd after everyone else has been on stage and then get on stage yourself. It's like, it's such a weird, like 
open mikey vibe are you gonna call a guy up out of the crowd he's gonna come up and headline next cool 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 so please a little little something so hold on out of in the middle of nowhere he's it's not like he's bringing him up to the stage right now in the middle of nowhere aaron needed some comfort so aaron just in the middle of nowhere goes i don't know if you've ever met nick before but Nick's awesome. A little, a little applause, everybody. Nick's great. He, he need. He. It's been so long since he heard applause and 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 cheering that he needs a little something right now. I'm not bringing him up just yet. But if I could just get a little something right now, watch. Dude, he's fucking. I'll tell you this. This is your first time doing stand up, right? Nick's fucking pumped. So please, a little, a little something. He's, he's, so look at him basking in this. Aaron's walking back and forth, basking this applause that he begged for. I don't know if you guys know Nick Riccata. Nick, it's your first time, right? And Nick is pumped. Can we get a little? And then everybody starts cheering, and Aaron walks around with the mic out like. It's like, you just begged for that. That's not, <laughs> this is not genuine applause. <laughs> Dude, he's so excited, and it made me think of, like, the first time I ever did stand-up. And he- I, I'm not kidding you. If this is stand-up to you, Aaron, you're dog shit. I mean, not even, like, you haven't done a joke. You have, I, I got to be fair here. You haven't done any material. Aaron, name a bit you did. You talked about Eric July, and then you worked off other people yelling epithets at you. What is one joke you told? When I I remember my first time doing stand up, is it in the future? Okay, does anyone know one motherfucking joke he told? One. We have eight minutes now. Has he told one joke? Can anyone remember the a, a joke? No, no. Just just fanboying out about Nick Ricada's podcast in some episode with Eric July? Right. Were there any... No? Just gay jokes about cum on his face and other people yelling the N-word? I remember my first time doing stand-up. No, you don't. You've never done it. You've never done it. It's like, I want you to film my set. And I'm like, it is going to be fun. Him thinking other people are going to do worse than him is is amazing. And from what I hear, honestly, the uh, Nick Ricada guy did 30 minutes his first time up and blew Aaron out of the water because he had prepared jokes. And from what I hear, he's not awful. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking crush it and everything else. I'm, like, I'm excited to watch it, buddy. I really am. He's going to have his first, his first stand-up set. He wants to film the whole thing. So what I would really like you guys to do. You ready for this? Can we guess? Can we guess what Aaron's going to do here? Let's spin the wheel of Aaron's ideas. Trans, Jews, N-word, gay. Let's spin the wheel. Let's see what Aaron does. Get your bets in now. While Nick comes up to the stage, I'm, hold on, uh, autism. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> April loved that bit. That was a killer bit. People are guessing it's N-word bombs. You got it. You got it. <laughs> well, Nick, thank you. We got two Rain Mans in one room. <laughs> So he's distracted all over the place. Again, for a guy who's, like, telling other people how to not be distracted, he can't get a word out uh, ought-wise. Couple of cards. Judge Walker's on in 15 minutes. I'm old, too. I mean, he's just standing in nothing. He's just standing in chatter and silence. So as Nick comes up to the stage, do you guys, would you guys be okay with joining me in a chant? Okay, so as Nick makes his way up to the stage, would you guys be okay in joining me in a chant? Okay. No. Oh. 
<laughs> Lee, did you hear April? Uh, uh. She sounded like Ray when Ray makes that ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Ah. Would you guys join me in a chant? Except for that piece of shit. Would you guys join me in a chant? Please, round of applause. We please join me in a chant for Nick. So again, he begged for a round of applause, and he's getting it. He didn't tell a joke. You know, the, the fans, the, he's not Jewish. Um, again, where does all this come from? You know, what, what happened to him? With Jews and blacks and trans and gay, like, what happened? Is it just because you're in Minnesota and you have only encountered, like, two of those people in your life, or... Are you? I I really do think him and Gino have some sort of homoerotic. Like, look, there's nothing wrong with it. I just like, uh, just be by and touch tips or whatever. I I don't. The dancing around it and like constant dunking on gays and, but while also talking about guzzling cum, it's like both of those are weird. Making fun of gays nonstop is weird, and also like making jokes about yourself gargling cum every day is weird i'll make fun of a gay here and there and i'll make a joke about gargling cum here and there but i certainly don't have a punch card where i'm trying to get a free sub by mentioning them every day i don't know what's going on but he just every day with cum and gays and cum and gays we get it we get it man it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's political. Yeah, I know. He really is trying to do this like right wing thing. He really thinks he can still like team up with Gino and Compound. We know. We know. Erica. The fans of. <laughs> <laughs> so look, if you can't handle these hecklers, Aaron, maybe you need to get off the stage. We were going we to sing that. Distracted again. Distracted again. Is this how you kill? If you can't do it, Aaron, you know, if you can't just focus and get it done. After the show in the parking lots when we were passing out the card, the membership cards. Yeah. So that's our thing. Uh, Nick, for the, you leave my wife out of this, you piece of shit. Wow, he got distracted again. Yell out one word. He just, like, he abandons everything and has to go after you. Um, Nick's fans are the col colloquialism. Say that drunk, am I right? The colloquialism for Nick's fans are knickers. Knickers. Here we go. Do you guys know why that's funny? Do you know why it's funny that he calls his fans knickers? It sounds like the bad word that people call black people like mm. oh, it sounds so close it sounds so close to the to the n word oh so if we chant it <laughs> if we chanted it it'd be like we were chanting the n-word which is crazy that's crazy to do but we're not really doing it so it's fine but we're almost doing it it's like we're getting away with doing it fuck fuck that's great that's a great one because they support it. So therefore, I would like you guys to chant no one's film. <laughs> what I would like you guys to chant while he comes to the stage is after I announce him, if you could chant Nick Erz. Nick Erz. I think it would encourage him. It would make him feel good. Are you guys down to do that? Does that sound okay? Nope. Nope. They're not. They're not. I don't know why, because you want them over really well with all those great jokes. 
all zero of those jokes you told. But no, no one is on board with this. No one. They all went, uh. Fuck you. Come on and fuck out Minnesota. What are you, a bunch of lip tarts or something? So he goes, come on, we're in Sartell, Minnesota. What are you guys, a bunch of libtards or something? I'm trying to do a conservative thing. That's why it's not very popular. Off the stage, Dick Kerr. He said, that's why somebody in the crowd drunkenly goes, that's why it's not a popular place for the brothers. So it, just in case you think all this is like a cornball guy in an act, it it isn't. This is the vibe of where he's at. It's what made him like this. You don't get like this unless it's what's commanded of you in your environment. He only keeps doing this kind of stuff because this is what people like there. They do. The crowd is into it. The crowd has yelled the N-word out. The crowd is like, the brothers better not come around here. It's sundowning in this fucking county. You know what I mean? It, it's beyond wild it's all there is to these people is this simple race it it really is disgusting wait wait a minute wait what what's that that's why this is not a very popular place for the brothers i can't see you sir i'm sorry I'm but now i'm scared <laughs> and april did you hear april uh, again that that's funny to april that's a good job that's her man up there being funny Sir, I can't see you back there, but I'm ter I'm fucking terrified. And April goes, ah. I I I can't be with a bitch that dumb. You know what I mean? Like I I couldn't be around her. If I heard her make that noise near me, after he said that, ha ha. Just the simple dumb joy of a bitch, you know. I, I, I can't. And I want to let you know, you know how deep pockets Rakeda has. He paid me to do all of this. So the whole time he's talking, someone's yelling the N-word. Did you, did you catch that? I don't know if you caught that. But the whole time he's like got his uh, hand up there to his head like a visor. And he's talking to this heckler. You know, the whole time is like heckler. Um... You hear somebody in the crowd going, no, 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 no. Listen, listen for it. And I want to let you know, you know how deep pockets Rakeda has. He paid me to do all of this. You hear it? I mean, that's where we're at. That's where we're at. And, and, and sir, I want to let you know, I thought your comic book was incredible. <laughs> So, I mean, that's the biggest laugh he's ever gotten in his life. And again, any experienced comic would walk off the stage right there. But he's like, ah, maybe I'm getting good at comedy. I'll stay up here longer and draw this out. I must be good now. I, I just figured out comedy. <laughs> I got a big laugh, so I'll stand up here longer now. It can only get better, right? I, uh, <laughs> oh, can I tell you my favorite part of his comic book? Um, I'm just going to go ahead and bullshit it and guess. Where the honky gets it. Uh, oh, no. Fuck oh, no. Did you hear April? Oh, no. Oof. Never, ever, ever, ever tell me about comedy again. Johnny Crutches, you can't sit next to him with an... This is how I know these guys are full of shit. It's like, say whatever you fucking want. Like, say whatever you want. Don't be dishonest. Johnny Crutches is going to sit next to this fucking idiot and be like, this is way better than Melton. Are you out of your mind? <laughs> don't like me. It's fine. Don't like me, but don't lie. You know what I did in my stand-up special? Told a joke. Told a joke. He hasn't told a fucking joke. Does anyone remember a bit? Does anyone remember one fucking bit? This is like watching Chad. Bless his heart. 
Bless his heart. Ma chi chi ma chi chi ma chi chi ma chi chi. We got a fish lunch. I mean, there's not a fucking bit. There's not one bit that's been that's been rattled around here. Not one. He's telling the audience how funny he was. Right? He's telling us he killed. He's not even saying I did well. I had fun. He said I killed. In front of a sold-out crowd. Meanwhile, we're just watching everybody keep getting up for soda pops. You know? WATP Kevin, member for seven months. Pump a nickel. Uh, Paul Per 80 with a gifted membership. Thank you very much. Hey, join up. We all be, we'll be doing a members uh, show this Friday. Join up, become a member. It's only $1.99 to become a member here. Hit the like button. That's free to do and help out our friends G Rob and Pan Handler as they try to hit some sort of like record for us today. We're over 200 so we're not worried about it. Anyway, happy Halloween. We're trying to make our nut today. So every little membership, every little donation, every little everything helps. It's the last day of the month. It's the last day YouTube puts money on our October paychecks, and we just want to make that nut. What does that mean? Don't worry about it. Back to Aaron M. Holt, putting on a clinic. Am right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, we're not changing that anymore. That guy's. Uh, <laughs> not because I wouldn't do it. Fuck that guy. But because the rest of you are going to be clearly uncomfortable. Not because I wouldn't do it. Fuck that guy. But you're all uncomfortable. Why are you guys all uncomfortable yelling out the N-word? <laughs> Why? Bunch of pussies. When I say fuck that guy, I mean like in a friendly way. Not like in a, like it's on in the streets way. Fuck uh, it. <laughs> you know what I like about you? Chad is Louis C.K. compared to this. Let's be real. I mean, yeah, at least Chad has, has bits. I mean, this uh, again, this isn't even stand up. Like, you can't call this stand up. You can't. It's insulting to be like, I killed. Oh, you're gonna play the video of me killing in front of a sold out crowd? It's like, ugh. As you get more and more obnoxious, you move closer and closer to the door, which is, like, I believe subconsciously you know what you are. <laughs> Yeah, you don't like that. No, I'm just, really I'm, I'm just hoping that you can hear the re I love that most of his criticism for the set he was playing of me earlier is like, he can't handle the hecklers. He's just getting distracted and letting them run all over him. It's like... Action and you'll maybe... Good. Has anyone ever told you this? I just want to ask you a question. Is it, it's not a test or anything else. Here we go. Here's some crowd work. Some classic Aaron M. Holt crowd work. When I say these two words, what comes to mind first, right? Self-awareness. <laughs> right. April. Ooh. <laughs> No wonder. I mean, how easy was this chick to land? <laughs> like, fuck. <laughs> okay, thank you. Yeah, no, you're the one on stage, though. Okay. <laughs> He's getting run over by funnier people in the crowd. This is what's great. <laughs> Did you hear that, guys? I. I. Missed the whole thing. I mean, he is eating shit. <laughs> this is this is beyond bad. It's eating shit. He just stands in silence. Do better. <laughs> I don't have to be here. I can just ask him questions. <laughs> this is like if Biden did a Q&A after a speech. I can just go, you're... Oh, God. It, they're all... By the way, the end of that Chrissy Mayer show he did with her is like an hour of them talking about how they're not going to get the new booster and like the latest vaccine news. It's like, they're all like... 
weird, broken idiots. They can only talk about like six things. And they're all like super not relevant anymore, you know, unless, unless you're moody. I mean, look, uh, we joke around a lot, but it's like the the vex, the COVID thing is over. It's over. No one is getting another vex. Like no one. I mean, knock it off. Knock it off. What what demons are you guys still fighting? Everyone gets it now. It was all a fucking play. Everyone is clued in. Everyone. The most adamant virus adopters or vaccine adopters were, are now like, yeah, whatever. It's not really. No one is lining up for, stop it. (laughs) Like, it's not a thing. Everyone got played. It's not a thing. So I don't know why you, you they feel the need to go live every day, like fighting against the vaccine companies. It's like no one's getting a vaccine. You, you mission accomplished at ease. <laughs> Turn, Tarn. Go. All right, I really do need to bring Nick up. We're not gonna do that stupid chant because I really thought with him here it was only gonna be white people and now I'm uncomfortable. So. Hold on. So Aaron just said, we're not going to do the Nick Ers chant. Because I thought with him here, it would only be white people. But now there is a black guy in the back of the room. And now it would be uncomfortable. Aaron doesn't realize, but this makes him look even worse. What Aaron just said on stage is, I would do the N-word chant if there wasn't any black people here. That makes it kind of like a clan rally. I was going to do the N-word champ, but now there's a black guy here, so I guess we won't. It's like, ooh. People are saying, what a pussy. I mean, yeah, that's part of it, but also, like, you're admitting that, like, uh, I don't want to do that with them here. It's like, that makes it kind of real, dog. That makes it kind of real. If it's a joke and it's no harm, no fail, and it's fun, why not just do it? No, 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 no. Pulp are giving two gifted memberships. Thank you very, very much. Uh, Lev Kramer says, but it's better than Patrick's album in Edinburgh. I mean, it isn't. Just because you haven't heard it doesn't mean it's better. <laughs> it it 100% is not. Uh, so, yeah. Excuse me, ma'am. You know what it is? He didn't ask for a refund. Do you hear somebody in the crowd go, excuse me, ma'am, can we get two more waters? <laughs> For his ticket, he was here for that Chrissy ass. Sorry. I know, and they run so fast. That's the problem. So, first he made a joke that, oh, the black guy is probably here for Chrissy's big ass because of that stereotype. And then he goes, the problem is they run so fast. So, it's, it really is. You think there's more there? There isn't. There isn't. It's gay stuff, trans stuff, Jew stuff, black people stuff. It's all there is in this guy's arsenal. I I really wish there was more. I wish he had some jokes that we can make fun of or go over. It, it, it it's it's black, black, gay, gay, black, gay, black, gay. It's all there is. And again, I'm not against jokes about those subjects. Hello. Ha! Gay! But the one note, the nonstop gay, gay, black, gay, black, gay, trans, gay, Jews, black, gay, Jews, it just, it never stops. And it leads me to believe there's nothing else else in your core is there anything else can you talk for 10 minutes and not bring up one of those things i'm starting to think you you have like a dysfunctional personality like like it's an autistic tick 
that you you guys want to talk about butterflies? No one wants to talk about butterflies right now, buddy. I love butterflies. Do you know there are over 700 different kinds of butterflies? For example, the monarch. It's like we don't, no one else is into it like that. Yeah, but listen. Did you know a crystal is, conf- we don't, we're not. He, he he thinks we're all into it because he's into it. And I think he got a lot of, like, feedback when he was on terrestrial radio because of that hyper-local market. Like they're saying, like, Sartell's not a good place for the brothers. It's like, yeah, this probably did very well on the local yokel market. Now he's on the internet and everybody just hears him every day. Gay bash and Jew bash and trans bash and gay bash. It's like... Do you have anything else? And after a year or two, the resounding answer is no. No. No, we don't have anything else. And so everybody starts tuning out. And then he goes, yeah, there's no growth on the internet. I got to get back to terrestrial where people really appreciated my old, tired, hacky shtick. I got to get back to the radio where there's a new audience every eight minutes, and I can just keep repeating my same gay, trans rhetoric. I got to get back on that terrestrial radio so there's a new person in their car every 13 minutes cranking it. I can tell them the weather, what time it is, and then hit them with my great new gay zinger. And then I can do it tomorrow, too, because they don't fucking remember. They're fishes in fish tanks shaped like cars who tune it in on their radio. Like, it's just... There's nothing else in this guy's brain. Nothing. He's had a million opportunities to show you, just like Corey, just like Chad. How long is it an excuse? Do anything new. Try anything novel. Try. Just try. Come up with a new game. Come up with a new promo. Come up with a new idea. Touch on something besides what some small political faction in Africa is doing today. You know what I mean? Like, I really do wish there was more. And there's just not. There just isn't. All the guy can do is tell you he's better than everyone else while being so much worse than everyone else. For the women. Why did the women run so fast? Terrified. Why do the women run so fast? The black women. Because they're terrified. Do you get it? Because black people are violent and abusive. Do you get it? Do you fucking get it? You can call me Nanerpus, Nanerpus. See black snake mode. Anyway. um, (laughs) Everything's falling flat. Everything's falling flat. Explain the joke. It makes it better. It's the black guy and a small white woman. Yeah. Right, right. right. Which is like, as, as white men, are a nightmare. Guys, I'm fucking around Jesus. It's like you guys are listening. Guys, I'm fucking around Jesus is never something you want to have to yell to a crowd at the end of a set. Guys, I'm fucking around Jesus. Good night. That's not, that is not a good sign of a comedy set if at the end of it you have to go guys i'm fucking around jesus <laughs> he killed he killed remember intently waiting for me to make the point but uh, jesus <laughs> he's completely kidding they're not our nightmare it's his fantasy <laughs> <laughs> right. right no keep explaining it it makes it a better joke <laughs> i love all this so they yelled out to him keep explaining it it makes a better joke Keep explaining it. It makes a better joke. Meanwhile, Johnny Crutches is just heckling him and heckling him and heckling him. Tell me how comedy works some more, Johnny Crutches. Are you supposed to yell out and interrupt constantly? Let me get my pen. Let me get my notepad so I can work the seven places you stumble to, you fucking stick boy. (laughs) I, I, I can't. I can't sit by while idiots who have never done anything keep telling me how it works. Hey, Aaron, when I see you on a video... For 15 minutes, not tell one joke. Somebody go back and fact check me. Do we, did we get one joke? Did we get one?
No? Did we get any original creation at all? No? I th- there was the cum on the face, and there was that one banger. Do you think you can kill somebody just for putting a sticker on there? Apparently. Apparently. That was a good, that fucking banged. Who saw that coming? A- then he said, apparently? Oh, shit. Did you take a picture? Stems from me asking him self-awareness. <laughs> self-awareness. You need to get out of the chat right now. <laughs> yeah, good point. Good point. Uh, they just yelled, you need to get out of the chat right now. Because that's what happens. That's what happens. He gets lost. Uh, this segment has been brought to you by Blacks.com. Let's bring it. I mean, what is that? What is that? I, I'm being real. Uh, we, I've said it. It's fucking bad. He's got nothing. And then at the end of it, this gem comes out of nowhere. This segment has been brought to you by Blacks.com. Uh, no, uh, just kidding. Oh, you were just kidding? It's not really brought to, brought to us by Blacks.com? Fuck, dude. Fuck. That's fucking funny, man. That's funny. This segment's brought to you by Blacks.com? Holy shit, dude. Holy shit. That's fucking funny, dude. (laughs) This segment's brought to you by (laughs) Blacks.com? No, no, just kidding. Fuck. Fuck, bro. It just, when it slaps, it slaps. This segment's brought to you by Blacks.com. Oh, no, 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 no. Just kidding. Ain't I a stinker? What the fuck? Like, what the fuck, man? It's just, la- it's so lazy. What's the thing you hate? Blacks. This was brought to you by blacks.com. Yeah. Fuck, man. Bring them up. Peace. <laughs> Killed it. Killed it. Awareness. <laughs> Self awareness. You need to get out of the chat right now. <laughs> yeah, good point, good point. All right. Uh, this segment has been brought to you by Blacked.com. Let's bring him up. On Blacked.com? <laughs> Either way, it's stupid. Either way, it's dumb. It's not like one's better. Melton, he said Blacked, not Blacks. Oh, that makes it a fucking well crafted bit then. Never mind. He said Blacked, not Blacks. Fuck, that's... Fu- oh, no, no, wait. It's the same. It's the same. It's exactly the same. He said blacked, not blacks. Oh, shit. Then I'll probably get an Emmy. <laughs> nope, it's the same stupid joke. It's the same stupid joke. It, it's just as as relevant. This was brought to you by Black.com. And then we all ran out pushing each other into the bushes. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, by far the most famous person here. Please welcome his first time doing stand-up okay. comedy, Mr. Nick Rakeda. <laughs> Stands up two rows deep and walks on stage. And again, you know, I don't know this guy, but the fact that he, like, thinks Steel Toe is cool and, like, a cool partner to partner up, it's like, if you're a lawyer, you need to tell this guy what he's doing illegal every month, please. You're a lawyer and you watch him every month in Minnesota break federal and state laws with his prize show? Can you please just tap him on the shoulder and go... I don't mind that you're very racist, but you could get in trouble running afoul of the FCC, the F, F, uh, TC, and the Minnesota Attorney General. I mean, again, if you're a real attorney, but also I guess maybe you're just into the N-word and that's too, too giggle-tastic to focus on anything else. So I get it. 